I'll tell you what I know because I'm not there. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just getting reports. The forestry department they they have already break the uh, the blockade, and uh, uh, together with them they brought the FRUs, the the police. You know, like as if they're going uh, like uh, terrorism or something like that. We believe that due to the uh, memorandum submitted by these ten uh, so-called ten leaders. Uh, claim from the state government uh, that they are the representatives of the things of the Orang Asli's. What I believe uh, they are acting upon uh, that so-called memorandum. These people do not re- represent them. Some of them do not do not actually live in Guam Usang. They actually live uh, somewhere else. In fact, um, I was told that these people uh, were appointed by the state government uh, or, or Jakwa. Um, so how how can the state government uh, act upon uh, a mere uh, memorandum made uh, by uh, these uh, so-called leaders uh, when the Orang Asli have submitted memorandums after memorandums, letters, uh, police reports after police reports uh, to the state government and they did nothing at all and yet just one memorandum from these very dubious characters uh, uh, they are acting on it uh, with uh, uh, bri- uh, instructing the uh, enforcement uh, agencies uh, to act, uh, uh, you know, very uh, aggressively in a way by bringing FRUs, you know, uh, to intimidate uh, the Orang Asli. Uh, what is going on here? Uh, you know, this is something that we all, uh, you know, as Malaysians, we must all be concerned uh, with uh, the action by the state government of Kelantan. The very fact that, uh, you know, that this uh, matter is actually, uh, the Musang King issue, uh, is actually between uh, this uh, corporacy agreement, uh, uh, you know, with Musang King. Uh, you know, and, and how can the state government interfere uh, 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 into this uh, when the contract, uh, you know, to allow the Musang King uh, to plant those uh, uh, durians uh, in in the jungle uh, is due to so-called agreement uh, uh, by some of these so-called ten people that actually submitted uh, the memorandum uh, uh, to the state government. Uh, they have a personal interest. They were involved in the contract. Uh, actually, uh, forged uh, with the uh, Musang King company. Now. You know, I mean, come on, uh, you know, very clearly if the state government do some, uh, a bit of research or check, uh, maybe they know, but they don't care, uh, you know, that these uh, uh, people who are so-called claiming themselves to be Orang leaders, they are the ones who are involved uh, in allowing the Musang King people uh, uh, to to plan to uh, those uh, 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 durians inside. Uh, why? Why do, do? Why do you think they actually uh, do this? Because obviously they get some returns, you know. And these people don't even live there. The state government then claim that these people are the one representing uh, uh, the orang asli. Can you see uh, the the conflict of interest here? Um, and yet the state government actually went ahead. Uh, and and actually advertise them as uh, you know. But I do believe uh, it's all staged, you know. Uh, the memorandum submitted by the uh, so-called uh, ten people, okay, these are all uh, prepared, I don't think, by the Orang Asli, it's prepared by somebody else for them. Number two, uh, uh, with the FRU uh, presence uh, today, this morning, um, FRU is under the federal, you know. How can the FRU being used uh, by the state government uh, to show uh, this uh, intimidation and oppression, uh, you know, towards our indigenous people. Have the indigenous people showed any kind of uh, violent, uh, uh, violent reaction before? How many times their blockade being broken down? Have they ever actually fought back? Actually, have they ever been physical? Have they ever shown any kind of violent streak? Never. Why do they need uh, to actually bring FRUs? Where are they when the gangster actually came with weapons, uh, breaking down the Orang Atli's uh, blo- uh, blockade in a uh, you know gangster-like manner? And I think everything is getting worse. You know what is happening with Pakatan Harapan? Uh, you know, I mean the Orang Atli went all the way to Putrajaya to meet, to meet with our Prime Minister. 
um, you know, what about uh, the uh, uh, Sibarasa that day? You know, I mean, uh, the orang actually have tried everything they can, and yet they are being, uh, uh, you know, oppressed further. What is you see what is happening? So I, I yeah, I just want uh, somebody, you know, please somebody uh, have the right friend of mine. Just call, call off. Meaning, you know, just ask for an auditorium. You know, just. Just stop, you know, for a while until this matter is resolved. Yes, they say that uh, the land belongs to the state. Yes, but then the Orangasli belongs to the federal government. The federal government can come in and take over and say that we are here to protect the Orangasli. Everybody stop. 